Infographics are really useful because in today's age, people just have no attention span whatsoever. With social media, with um, Twitter, Facebook, everyone is all about quick, quick responses, and people really don't want to have to sit and read anything longer than a couple of paragraphs. So an infographic is really a good way of getting data out there really quickly. And, you know, people don't like spreadsheets, people aren't that good at maths generally. So if you can use some kind of visual form to get the information across, it's just a really, really useful communication way. Where do you start in turning complex data into infographics? First thing I always do is get all the data together in the first place and get it all on one table, all in one place. And then I start putting it on post-it notes because it's really hard to try and visualise what the data is going to look like without minimising it down to its bare form. So just some brief titles of uh, campaign aims, uh, number of people that did this, locations of where this thing happened. And then I just sort them out into the right order. So I've got all these post-it notes all over a table, all over the floor. But back of my living room door is covered in post-it notes from different campaigns I've tried to put together. So post-it notes are the best thing ever. <laughs> what is the most important thing people need to consider when creating an infographic? Uh, two things. The first thing is uh, think about your content. So not everything has to go in the infographic. What's the most important content? And, and put the most important stuff first least important stuff at the bottom, but also think about your audience. So if you're doing an infographic for some science conference, you're going to pitch it at a very different level than if you were doing an infographic for six-year-olds. So just have a think who your audience is, what do they know, what are their literacy levels, Are they? do they know about the project already, what's their emotions, so is it going to be good news or bad news, and what is it they want from it. So are they looking at this infographic and saying, I want to know how this thing went, how many people do this, here's what's going on, here's where it's happening. So just have a think about your audience and what it is that they want from the whole experience.